Hello, welcome to Seguru and we are going to see another important video uh, which must be useful for your day-to-day -day life uh, about uh, an SSL certificate installation. So we'll see how to um, install and renew the SSL certificate on FTD managed by FMC. Before we jump on to um, actual session, we'll see the necessary things that is needed for you to be prepared over here if you look at there are four key things that i have mentioned private key certificate signing request identity certificate and ca certificate let's get started how to do this using open ssl server uh, because we are going to convert the dot uh, crt file into pfx which is only supported by your ftd or asa okay i'm on a sent os operating system where i have the open ssl already available once uh, you are in the sent os operating system or you have option to uh, set up your own open ssl in your environment i'm going to use the existing uh, device or server which i have in my environment so once you are in the uh, system you have to type command called open open ssl or you hyphen new space new key and you have to set up the rsa modulus rsa colon 2048 and then nodes key out And the key, uh, private key is file name, private key dot key. I'm just giving that name as private key dot key. And then out and the CSR file name, whatever the file name you wanted to export it. My FTD CSR dot CSR. So this is the command uh, i will also give this uh, command set in the uh, description once you click enter you will gain a uh, number of information that you need to follow to input the country name two digit state name which locality some x name of organization you wanted to give you can give that here organizational unit something like it common name c name it's called common name common name is called up, uh, what you would use for your uh, vpn connectivity so based on your uh, fqd name that you are assigning you can give that you can skip the email uh, if you need you can uh, input the challenge password if not you can uh, input and uh, give enter okay so with this step uh, we are almost uh, done with the CSR creation SAP once you log into your server uh, you will be able to identify the files that you have created sorry with the name whatever you have input uh, if you don't find those files where it is said you have you have option to use find files option uh, with the file name whatever you have entered in the say like contacts you can input that and uh, try to find with that file name my ftd csr uh, you need to send these files to your uh, service provider whether if you could use a digi shirt or a say or godaddy according to your organization you can send it to them for them to once you got that you have to go back to your uh, open ssl server 
and uh, try to uh, merge the file which I said before and try to combine everything into a single file private key identity certificate and intermediate certificate this is the command I will also ensure to input this command to your uh, I mean in the description open SSL and we want in the pkcs12 format and we are exporting it out with this uh, file name ftd pfx.pfx in key and the private key where the location is already there uh, and then in uh, the file name of ssl certificate that you have already received and then the sort file which is the intermediate uh, certificate file name as well once you are back to your uh, fmc console select the device that you wanted to uh, uh, install the pkcs12 format file you have to click the add button name it as anything you want I'm just creating a sketch <clears throat> select enrollment type as pkcs12 browse the file that you uh, that you wanted to import Phrase that you have created just click add and that's it after a, a minute or so uh, after it's importing the file name uh, you'll be able to see the status as the certificate is ready certificate also is ready to view that's all thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, please comment share and uh, look for any new videos in the future thanks so much